So in the first example, 1 over x plus 4, you guys can see 1 over x plus 4 is right here, right? Now, if I have x plus 4, if you guys remember transformations, that's adding the at plus 4 inside the function. So that's shifting my graph to the left four units. So where, where is that? Where we have a discontinuity at 0, we now have a discontinuity at negative 4, right? So when we evaluate at 4, you could easily just, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, that should be negative 4. Oops, my bad. And that one should be, that's correct, OK. So when we evaluate at x equals negative 4, we know we have a discontinuity, right? So at negative 4, that does not exist. And you can look at that graph. We know it doesn't exist because the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit go in opposite directions, right? For a limit to exist, it has to approach from the left and from the right. However, if we're just looking at the left and right hand limits, if we're approaching the limit from the left, you guys can see that knowing what this graph looks like, you know the graph shoots down, right? So therefore, it is negative infinity. And looking at from the right hand limit, you guys can see that that graph is going to the positive infinity, right? From the right hand side, you guys can see it's going up to positive infinity. Does that make sense, kind of, OK? So it's really important because I'm going to show you guys next how to do this algebraically. Um, but I think it's really